this is an interesting one. Because it's all been cut, look. Tops have all been cut off. It's a bit dry here. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst Great British Bake Off creations. It's standing, yeah. Looks like a fence. I think a bull would probably go through that, if I'm honest. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the very worst the GBBO and the Celebrity Spin-Off have to offer. From mishaps that escalated into disasters, to just outright awful bakers, it's all going to be here. Number 10. Ryland's Poo. It's like a small cove and it's a, a massive rock in the middle of the ocean and it's beautiful. You'd be right believing that some of the absolute worst creations on this show come from the celebrities who quite frankly have no clue when it comes to baking. Very few can compare to this file suite by reality star Ryland Clark who had attempted to make a bake shaped like a cove in Ibiza. Wow, <laughs> you're gonna find that dog and punish it. <laughs> something that would clearly be hard to convey as appetising on premise alone. But somehow, Ryland managed to make it look like a big dollop of poo. Somehow, the rest of this bake made up for the harrowing sight. I do find the rock fascinating. We thought they were going to poo-poo it. <laughs> Number 9. Celebrity Faces After watching the first showstopper round of season 11, we believe there may be some people who no longer believe that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. That's about as far away from David Bowie as you could get. I'd agree with you, actually. Yes, he's lost yeah. his neck. Yeah. Tasked with creating a bust of a celebrity they admire, the baker surprised us all with an array of hilarious results. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh. From a Freddie Mercury that many likened to the Pringles man and nightmarish David Bowie, to David Attenborough taking a tumble. Many conceded that the disastrous result seemed fitting for the unprecedented theme of 2020. He's a reclining... Um... He's having a nap. Most of the results were laughable, but who doesn't need a good chuckle these days? Number 8. Dan's Portrait My hands! There are more flattering ways to portray your newborn baby. When the bakers were challenged to create a self-portrait, Dan chose to draw himself with his child on a biscuit. Say what you will about his amateurish drawing of himself, but the baby is sure to get your eyebrow raising. What are you holding? A baby? Oh, I thought it was something else. Paul suggested that it looked more like a shrimp than a child, but the viewers at home had far more dirty thoughts as to what it looked like. I questioned the baby though. It looks like a massive prawn. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps something more phallic. Maybe choose a different colour next time, Dan. Number 7. Jamie's Banana Loaf If the heir to McVitie's and founder of Candy Kittens promises to produce a delicious cake, you'd believe him, right? You know when you're blitzing all those things together, it's not necessarily how you do a sponge. Is it not? No. Jamie Ling announced that he had never even touched flour before, and then proceeded to mix his banana loaf ingredients in a food processor all at once, allegedly following his mother's example. Despite its unappetising texture, the judges bravely taste it, but regretted it soon after. That's delicious. Oh. That is disgusting. <laughs> that is so disgusting. Prue spat hers out, and Paul dubbed it the worst cake ever baked in the tent. Well, at least there was only really one way he could go from there. I've created a new substance that no one has ever found before. <sighs> Number 6. Dorette's Black Forest Gatto. In the season premiere of the sixth series of Bake Off, the contestants were charged with making their spin on a classic Black Forest Gatto for the showstopper round. But Dorette was off to a rough start when her mousse didn't set properly, making it impossible for her cake to retain any structural integrity. There's no need to get upset. Every reason. No, because it's just a cake. <laughs> it's not just a cake. It is just oh, a cake. Dorette was understandably devastated when her gâteau completely collapsed, leaving a gooey mess instead of a pretty end result. Despite this major error though, she managed to stay in the competition for another couple of episodes after the incident. Number 5. Ruby's Cakes. Are you dowling it or...? Yes, yeah, so I have dowels in there because obviously it's quite a tall cake. 
So I want to make sure it looks all nice and sturdy. I don't want any um, wonky cakes. Baking using only vegan friendly ingredients can be tricky enough, but creating a gorgeous tiered cake without using eggs and dairy like you're used to can result in complete chaos. That's what happened for Ruby in Series 9, when her showstopper couldn't stand up on its own. Yeah, then it'll be fine. I don't think that's gonna... Uh oh. When the clock ran out in the baker's tent, her cake wasn't stable, so she was forced to leave the tent and hope for the best. But the other contestants watched helplessly from outside as the dessert slowly toppled over onto her workstation. Oh god, no. Number 4. James's Barn. This isn't at all my sort of baking, but I have come around to this challenge. For the quarterfinal of the third series of Bake Off, James Morton endeavoured to make a wood frame gingerbread barn, but it ended up falling apart, forcing him to put a spooky spin on it, calling it a haunted barn, and even adding cobwebs. Total disaster. It's gone from looking rather lovely to absolute disaster. While what he intended was an indisputable failure, the end result wasn't actually that bad, and he was even named Star Baker that week. Not only that, but he ended up in the final of the show, and has been successful ever since. If that's the look you were going for, <laughs> top mark. Number three, a salty treat. Oh, I've messed up big style here. Yeah. John Waite eventually became the winner of the third series of Bake Off, but in the season premiere, Things didn't look too hopeful for this baker. During the technical challenge, the contestants were charged with making rum babas, and John mistakenly used salt instead of sugar in his dough. I'm just trying to slice off the salted part of the baba. I'm fighting for my place in the competition now. The result was about as disastrous as you would imagine, with Mary refusing to touch them and Paul spitting them out. There's too much salt in there. Somehow, though, John only came second to last in the ranking managing to edge out Natasha, who was eliminated that episode. Number two, the not-so-baked Alaska. It's a mess, disaster, it's revolting. I think Mushroom soup. Wonderful. Ask any Bake Off fan what the most dramatic moment in the show's history is, and they'll undoubtedly agree it was this one. Dubbed Bingate by fans and the press, this incident took place in the fifth series in the Desserts episode, when the contestants were asked to make their versions of a baked Alaska for their showstopper. Where's my ice cream? It's here, sorry Ian. We, we... Ah! Ian's dessert was chilling when fellow baker Diana removed it from the fridge for an indeterminate amount of time, causing it to melt in the sweltering heat. While this would have been an unfortunate occurrence, Ian made it a true disaster when he had a tantrum and threw the entire dessert in the bin. No, 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 go! Number one, Lucy's showstopper cake. It's a rare honour to get a Paul Hollywood handshake. It's even rarer still to have him spit your bake out in disgust. But that's exactly what happened to Lucy Beaumont on Stand Up To Cancer. Can I just take this a second? That's your okay? cake? That's your sponge? <laughs> While the other contestants brought their A-game, Lucy floundered when creating her Sunday lunch cake, which featured cake layers of varying burntness. As Prue said, it looked less like Lucy's dream day and more like her nightmare. <laughs> oh, Paul. <laughs> I think Paul likes it. As such, she was named the worst baker to ever step foot in the tent. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.